I don't know if you know, but this is the libs of TikTok. Now, she became famous by just posting videos that other liberals had made. She didn't comment on them. She just posted them, correct? No, she literally just posted the she actual just, things that they're doing. Actual things that they're saying and doing. Yes, not, you know, look at this. and uh, Just look at this. And, of course, that is an argument for what's called stochastic terrorism, which means if people find out about the crazy shit I'm doing, I could be in danger, and it's on you, pal. <laughs> so she sat down with the woman who doxed her, uh, Taylor Lorenz, fake journalist who works for the Washington Post. And she's she's in she's in her mid forties, but she pretends like she's sixteen. Oh, right? Yeah, well she covers the millennial beat. The so, tech millennial beat. I think she's like thirty nine is the official age, so So she won't tell her age. But anyway, um here we go. So they 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 I, I didn't know this was happening. They had an interview and the one of the things they talked about was that book Gender Queer, which Russ uh, Dobular, who guest hosts the show, has enlightened me about is it basically just gross porn. It's insane. You know how kids. insane it is? Yeah. As a joke on Sasha's show for his like yeah. uh, Berkeley professor guy, he went to a homeschool convention. For Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah. And and we I wrote a terrible book and everybody threw it out to like shock them. Like we want to yeah. give this to kids about like some professor huh. rabbits having like orgies in front of the rabbit kids. Yeah. It's you know, it's to the family go like react normally to it. And the prop, I remember having the prop in my, and it was well drawn. And it was, I'm looking like, this is like horrible. The thing is a joke. I had it in my luggage. I'm like, I hope nobody ever has to like look at my luggage and ask. And I got to explain what in the hell this. Anyway, that book is basically like, what well, at least we had cartoon rabbits to take the edge off. So you're, okay. So they're going to talk about this uh, book and uh, libs of TikTok is opposed to it and in a Taylor segment we like to call yentl to mental <laughs> <laughs> like why you don't speak up about the sexualization problem i don't see i guess i don't see as much if i saw an example so she's asking her why don't you speak out about the sexualization of children and while wearing a shirt of her crying so by the way this is <laughs> <laughs> this is a shirt of Taylor Lorenz crying. Remember when she was on NBC? So they did a story on her on NBC where she cried about all the abuse she has to take online I after did. she doxes people. And then uh, she complained because people made fun of her for crying on that NBC uh, news segment. And attacking and NBC for NBC her news. Yeah, she then attacks NBC <laughs> News for having her on. And NBC <laughs> News took the video down. <laughs> Oh, no kidding. Here we go. <laughs> of a child being sexualized. Of course, I have a problem with, you know, certain things. I, I will. I will actually... first, first of all, you know what would make this way funnier? If the libs of TikTok lady kept pretending she couldn't hear Taylor because of her mask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Just let Taylor say her whole thing. I'm sorry. I didn't get one part of that. She's wearing, she's wearing her special... Uh, blowjob blocker mask as she tries to what she's this is she's going to try to explain her way out of the inexplicable defense of child grooming for the minor attracted cult in the corridors of power here we go no i will say so do you I, think we should give kids porn in school the the images of like gay sex and I, so I had public, again, I went to public school and in public school, at least when I was growing up, we were absolutely given, um, literature, you know, explaining sex, educating. Facts. Yeah, that's uh, I, facts. First of all, that's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about regular sex education. We're talking about this gender queer book and she's not, and watch, watch, she keeps going. People. It had pictures of like anal sex. Can can she just first of all libs of TikTok should just explain to her that they they had they're depicting anal sex and the people depicting it aren't wearing masks. See what she says. She's not. That's a great idea. I think you got to put it in terms Taylor Taylor Lorenz can understand. Okay, here we go. Oh, absolutely. And it actually talked about condom use. What grade? God, I mean. God, I mean. I don't remember, but certainly probably middle school. I think that's when we had sex ed. Um, so you think like school. books? So you expect me to believe that at a public <laughs> school, Taylor attended from kindergarten to sixth grade. Oh, they had school. they had anal porn available in the library in the late fifties. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they were uptight back then. You know, in the fifties in middle school, they, they didn't like that kind of stuff. Here we go. 
you gender queer, this book is gay. We should give that to kids in school. I have not read those books, so I don't know. But I do okay. think so. She hasn't even read the books that she's advocating be allowed in the schools. How about anyway? So I gotta say, by the way, lives at TikTok. You know what would have been better than wearing your Taylor Lorenz crying shirt? Although I do love the shirt. Um, bring the book with you. Don't like scroll on your right. tweets. Right. Okay, watch. So watch. I just hold it it's up. It's important to talks. educate kids about sexuality, if nothing else, because. You know, I have spoken to women um, that were abused um, sexually when they were young, very young. And one thing that they've told me is that they wish that they had the language to talk about it. And they weren't educated. They grew up in a, I only know two that I've spoken to about this, but they've grown up in sort of societies where they weren't very educated about sex ed. They didn't receive sex ed in class. They went to a Catholic school or other sorts of schooling. And what? so I do think it's really important for kids to understand sex because as we all know, a lot of teenagers can be sexually active, and I think sex education is important to promote, you know, healthy attitudes, healthy understandings of sex. I mean, these are human bodies. You can't just expect to send kids off at 18 with absolutely no sex ed and then think that they can sex. function in the world. So we should give kids, um, like, pictures of gay sex in, gay in sex? middle school and actually elementary school, some of them. So basically, they're, they they sound like they're the same person, yes. but just on different sides of the issue. <laughs> you know, you laugh, but it's good. This is what I call a view killer. What do you mean? The new view. Oh, this oh. show is going to kill the view. Oh, this the, is Barbara Walters' dream right here. Yes, right here. Here we go. I guess I'm wondering what you consider that. I think. Do you want to see a picture? Yes. Well, I don't I know, but um, why not? I mean, you're I, old are you talking about the ones that you've posted on, yeah. on your Twitter yes. account? Of the I guess those don't look like what I received when I did sex ed, but I think sex ed is. is so now she's oh admitting boy. to, well, I've seen the pictures that you've posted on your Twitter feed, and those don't look like the pictures I saw. Yeah, that's why we're talking about it. It doesn't look like my sex ads? No, no I'm saying sex ed, <laughs> not saxophone advertisements, <laughs> Taylor. Well, my sex ads were not like that. Important because it, it actually helps. So you didn't have those types of things when you were in school? Oh, no, we had sex ed. I'm I, saying the images I posted on Twitter. Did you have sex ed in school? Did you not get books with... With graphic with imagery. pictures of gay sex. I remember. I gay I don't. Know, I can't. I don't remember how old you are, but I grew up in the '90s when HIV and AIDS was a big thing, and we certainly learned about gay sex in school. Uh, so you. So those pictures yeah. I posted on my Twitter. You had graphics like that. In I sex actually school? don't know. I haven't. I I don't remember to be honest. But I do think that it's really important to. But knowing those kids. pictures, you seem to know very well what my those pictures are. Do you I think don't, that? I don't. I've seen. Oh, you, you kept referencing. Well, it. I've seen you post things, well, then but I, I don't pull know. It up. Um. But I think, yeah, I guess I feel... Because we need to put this into context. Yeah. 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 Well, we won't know the context, of course, because we don't know the context of how those things are being taught. Oh, so we could give kids, like, pictures of gay sex as Sounds. long as it's in the proper context? I don't know. I mean, it's up to the educator to determine, right? I don't... I, I don't know. Who's the reporter I guess I'm here? kind of curious, Kaya... Why Why you sort of focus so much about the LGBT, you keep mentioning gay sex, but you don't mention straight sex. Oh. Why is there such a focus on the LGBTQ world? Oh, I don't want pictures of sex in school, any pictures. So you don't think children should receive any sort of sexual education, straight or gay? I said I don't want pictures of sex in school. But you think that they should receive picture-free sex education? Uh, no, I think we discussed this earlier. Okay. Yeah. I'm curious kind of how you're thinking, you know, when you think about your, the way that you put out content and the way that you think about growing your media empire. Here, this is the, a blowjob. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, this, this is a, a blowjob. Uh, oh, I'm the dizzy you're not, from laughing. You're not going to get any OnlyFans uh, being that unenthusiastic about a blow. This is a, a blowjob. But she goes, is that is she recording a blowjob dude, for Siri? That is, the, <laughs> that is the best uh, change of subject I've ever seen. Like, hey. I'm curious about a UBD Empire. Like, there's a picture hey, hey, of blowjob. Hey, hey. <laughs> that was the most amazing. Can you just replay that part again? Yes. <laughs> your the way that you put out content and the way that you think about growing your media empire here this is the a blow job <laughs> <laughs> no i think i have to what i don't know what book this is from i think i have to okay so i have to blow so should this picture of a blow job be in elementary schools 
I've never seen a book like that. We now. can't even let it on YouTube. No, it, it has been. I've okay. posted about it, yeah. So tell me a little bit so about- So should it be in elementary schools? I have no idea the context. I have no so idea. So in what context, context should it, is it okay if it would be in I have school? absolutely no idea. I have absolutely no idea. I would not, I, I don't know, Kaya, because I haven't seen the rest of that book. I don't know what's in there. I don't but, know the you, but there is a context that it would be okay to give kids pictures like that of gay sex. <sighs> Anal sex in, in I guess elementary sex, school. I guess sex pictures in school. I don't know. I don't know because uh, you know who I would defer to on that. Just because neither of us are sex educators, I would defer that question to a qualified professional, a sex educator, and say, "Hey, you're an expert. You've treated tons. You know, you've educated tons of people. You're a full-time sex educator. You've really studied this. Oh my what God. are the appropriate a boundaries? I don't think somebody, that myself uh, okay. as a journalist or a media personality, I don't think I'm the right one to make that decision. And I guess I'm wondering why. So you there, so there. The, I have seen sex educators say that they they want these these books in in schools. So then uh -huh. you're okay with that? I think I would want to talk to the sex educator and rely on whatever the sex educators say. Okay. I'm wondering why you... Be because you couldn't possibly make a, a decision yourself. You need an expert to tell you what kind of pornography is okay to show to children in your children's school. This whole deferring uh, to an expert that somehow knows something better like hey um should i be able to run kids over with my car i don't know i'm not a i'm not a professional driver we would have to ask a professional driver uh, uh, hey should how about could, could we could we stick anal beads in kids in school i don't know i'm not a professional sex educator we'd have to ask I'm not them. a proctologist you, you're not a proctologist i don't know maybe you can maybe Wait. this idea that a normal human being doesn't know what's appropriate for their child to see tells you everything you need to know about that's true, but before you even get to that part, just for the record, if I ask an adult what they do for a living, and they tell me they're a full-time sex educator of kids, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I'm going to make a citizen's arrest, we'll say. I, can I just weigh in really quickly, because I was in education for over 25 years, and I remember one time you would have to substitute for different classes, and I had a sub one day for the health class, and these were seventh grade students, and I happened to be subbing the day that they were showing the video about what happens to your body during puberty, and I was no sex ed expert. And nor was <laughs> yeah. the health ed teacher. They're not a sex ed expert. Nobody's a sex ed expert who talks about what kids are going through in puberty in a public school. She went so to public during, school. So during this, uh, <laughs> during this uh, segment, the kids are all in front of me watching this video and images of hair sprouting up on their bodies. Where, and I'm in the back seat. I'm in the back row just going, oh, my God, trying to keep it together and not laugh. And all the kids kept doing this to me the whole time as this video was showing. <laughs> and I'm just there. Mm -hmm. I get why the teacher had a sub that day. All right. Oh, all right. Back to Jimmy. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> no, so you, don't, you don't think of the ins and outs of the backstage of the job of how awful. I would feel uncomfortable with a reasonable puberty educational film having to sit with those right. kids. No kidding. I'd be like, Oh, I would be mortified. They're not like my kids. Can, you know, like if you had your own kids and you tell them, like, it, by the way, your parents are supposed to tell you whatever. Yeah, you okay. that's something for the parents. Who is Taylor hanging out with? I just, as I hear this, or her talking about, she goes, I was talking to some people that, you know, they didn't have that. Is she talking about some third world country she got to go to where they didn't get to learn anything and she's being coy and acting like that's an America? Because just so you know, in America, even the poorest of schools, the kids have access to every awful kind of pornography before they even get to goddamn school. So she wasn't talking to somebody from America. There's no, no chance that she was. So I just want to sum up Taylor Lorenz's worldview, Kurt. Yeah. Uh, exposing children to graphic depictions of anal sex is healthy, but open face outdoor meetings <laughs> are deadly. You, Jimmy, you can't go open face out there. I keep trying to tell you. She's wearing a You're mask. She's going to raw face talk to me. You just raw face it. So let's go. I don't want to spend too much time on this, even though it's very much fun. Even though I want, I'm thinking road trip for these two. So now watch this. When you, when you, they should make a movie out of this, a road trip. Yeah. So this is. <laughs> Yentl and mental. Come on. That's a good. This is called when you point the finger at someone else, you have three fingers pointing back at you. Here we go. Yeah. Um, I'm curious, you know, I, I feel yeah. like there's been, especially on, um, my colleagues have done great yeah. reporting on sort of like this rift on Twitter. I know that you have a very conservative fan base and in your comments, sometimes you'll see a lot of 
commentary about sort of the great replacement theory. What are your thoughts on what are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on your comment, your, the comments on your post telling me to kill myself? Horrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. Obviously against that, yeah. So will you come out and, con- and condemn that publicly? Oh, no, sure. I would condemn it any time. I'm t- against, you know, I'm against, I'm against uh, yeah. murdering anyone, of course. No, so you're against death threats against against me? I, yeah, I'm. I would. I'm a big, you know, as somebody that's dealt with a lot of online harassment, I don't. I don't defend uh, threatening to murder anyone. But I guess I'm curious, you know, because a lot of times it comes after an attack from the, in the media, like some, someone like you or another journalist. So are you saying that, like, you know, if somebody posts something and then attacks follow, that person should answer for those attacks? No, that's not what I'm saying. Oh, okay. I'm saying that they, 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 people like you, tell me that all the time. So I'm just asking if you think the same thing. Yeah, I don't think I have said that here, but I, you know, I think it's. I, uh- you uh, literally so, just opened with it. So yes. Yeah, so now Taylor Lorenz is trying to pretend the her raison d'etre, which is to blame people for social media attacks because of what other people have posted. She blamed NBC News for the social attacks that people when may made fun of her for crying on NBC News. She blamed NBC News for showing that. It, she was really amazing. While she was in and, the middle of sputtering that out, she showed this is anal sack. <laughs> <laughs> and now dog. she's pretending. That this isn't a big thing with her. Because, and so so yeah. Libs of TikTok is trying to hold her accountable to the same thing. Hey, you've written all kinds. You doxed me. She doxed her. That's why she's a, she didn't want to be a public person. Now she is because Taylor Lorenz doxed her. And as private, not the powerful, a private citizen who wanted to remain private. Someone very similar to her in terms of their speaking. Yes, yes. It's not the irony. <laughs> when I said that, I, <laughs> I think we have a lot of comment. And so Libs of TikTok is like, are you going to take responsibility for all the grief I've taken for you doxing me? And of course, she's not going to. Well, you know, it's frustrating. Like, I mean, Taylor Lorenz stinks. Uh, Libs of TikTok, there's like three places you really could have cut. Because Taylor Lorenz says, like, do you think someone's responsible for a thing? And you don't have to be coy and answer, well, do you think it's? <laughs> you go, uh, no, I, I'm not. I don't support any of that. What sane person would? What are you talking about? Yeah. That's not a thing. And then she goes, but it is a thing. We're like, well, you did it to me, so you better hope it's not. Like, that's basically, I guess what I'm Yeah, she say blew is, it is what you're saying. She couldn't. There, there needs to be a man here to just, like, explain, <laughs> you know, I don't want to say mansplain, but from a masculine perspective, how to get to the goddamn point. Yes, okay. I think it's kind of interesting, I guess, in the conservative movement, there's this ideology around sort of white nationalism, um, yeah. which is uh, obviously kind of a hardline ideology that's generally been pretty critical of Jewish communities. And I'm wondering as a Jewish... Which is totally different than Jewish nationalism in Israel. <laughs> okay, back... Okay. She's the least clever human. She's like... Uh, like, do you see her, her her lame ass trying to like gotcha? Like, yeah. you know, Jewish and white nationalism. Oh, I've never heard of that. What is that, Taylor? Explain it to me with your face yarmulke. <laughs> Woman, how do you feel about sort of aligning yourself with those people and accounts you know you see this sort of rhetoric in your replies and i only bring it up i'm not saying that that you necessarily endorse that rhetoric i would imagine that you don't but how do you kind of think about those nuances when you're thinking about kind of the audience that you're building here's a blowjob um (laughs) some of your audience says we should chop off kids body parts how do you think what do you think about that yeah i i uh, it's like Taylor so, has does I, not expect. You know what's funny is I'll, I'm trying uh, to think of ways that Taylor Lorenz could look worse in this interview. The only way, what? maybe if she's eating a human limb while doing this interview, you know, <laughs> don't worry, he he was humanely sourced. <laughs> <laughs> well, the mask. Uh, the establishment only uses suicidal people. I think the mask is um uh not anything with COVID or any autoimmune disorder. I think it's people call it old. And, and she has nice eyes. No, she's trying to, and uh, yeah. you know, and so what happens? It creates a weird effect of like uh, uh, Jew versus Arab, almost. <laughs> like eyes covered like this. This is her fighting against aging, right? Her true fight yeah. is against aging. Is yeah, really that's what her it's real about. fight. All right, that's an, we've spent enough time on this. Uh, I would like a series, though. But I would. Lie. I don't. I think. I think it should be a series or uh, a, a road movie where they take a trip. Reality somewhere. show. Yeah. What was that one with what's her name? Paris Hilton, the other one? Oh, and right. Lionel Richie's. Yeah, uh, kid. Nikki was, Richie or whatever her name. What yeah, was her name? And they would go on a tour and, like, well, we're working out a farm today. Do you think kids should see sacks? <laughs> I don't know. Do you think? 
if somebody gets I didn't attacked. Watch, I didn't watch one second of it, so I can't even tell you. I didn't either, but I could see like a f- <laughs> updated from modern audiences. Yeah. This would be it. I bet you this would be a hit. They're at the farm. She's like, are you familiar with white nationalism? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but uh, I see, I can't understand. Just for the record, I, I find libs of TikTok, yeah. f- Twitter feed, much more entertaining and informative <laughs> than anything Taylor Lorenz has ever written in her life. She's, putting up, she's so just putting up videos that other people yeah. recorded themselves. If it was her just talking, I probably would I'd be probably enjoyable. hate it. I'd probably hate it. Because she's doing honest. Yeah. Whatever your, her feelings of watching them talk, she's just putting up a thing that happened. Yeah. I don't even read the crap she feels about it before the post. <laughs> does she Does she have even write things? I don't I know. I guess. I don't even know. But, mm. she, but the point is, I'm definitely on her side in a Taylor Lorenz fight. And, I, and I'm going to say she won by wearing that shirt. If you show up to a to a cat fight wearing a mask, you lost. I'm looking up. Uh, oh, Taylor Lorenz brought a dog to a cat fight. <laughs> I asked. I asked Mask Taylor Lorenz how old she is, and she refused to say. She claims it will harm her family if people know her age. Wait a minute. Are you kidding? No. Okay. How old are you? Good question. I don't put it out on the internet. Oh, on Good purpose? Question. Yeah. Why? Because people have done a lot of crazy shit to my family, and the, I don't put out my age. Uh, my uh, involving family. time travel? No, how it is. I don't want. I my, mean, I've said many times I'm 29. Yeah, I guess I don't want to put my birthday out there. I don't put my. I don't put your birthday, just your age. Yeah, I don't put it out there. Why? How does it affect your family? Well, it's my birthday. I don't want my birthday out there. That's my birthday is not out there either. It's not, yeah. No. I guess mine is, and I don't want it. Yeah. But it's not a, I mean, you can find, you, it's not hard to find my age if you Google. So, it's not like a secret or anything. But there is such an obsession with it. And I do think it's, well, kind it's of a, I think it's because you're so, like, secretive about it. I know, I think probably that so, has a lot yeah. to do with it. You just yeah, literally don't think anyone would care. Yeah. I don't know. I like a little bit of lore. Yeah, no, we noticed. But you're probably right. So, this is the so, cattiest thing I've ever seen. I can't believe I can't believe this conversation took place. Look at this subtle, de- delicate dance. Of yes. Death. How are they? I, do you think it's cool uh, that people kill people because they saw a thing that made them mad to people? Because you put it up. Do you feel like you? How do you feel about that? So here's here's so her her name lives of TikTok's name is Shia Rachik. Did you know that? Yeah, yeah, but I kept forgetting. She says, to summarize my interview with Taylor Lorenz, she's not at all concerned about our open border and millions of people invading our country. She's pro-mutilation and castration of minors. She wants porn in schools. She wants the media to be allowed to defame me with impunity. She wants me to be responsible for all reactions, comments, and actions that happen after I post a TikTok, but doesn't want to take responsibility for what happens after her reporting yeah, on me. I mean, it's pretty clear. She's a lizard person. <laughs> Lips dick dog, bam. She's scared of people knowing her age. She's still wearing a mask outdoors in 2024. I gotta give that. And you know, Lips dick dog, who says her age openly, 29, uh, at least 10 years younger than Taylor Lorenz. And you know, at Watch that Exchange, Lips of TikTok has more right to talk like that because she, she's 29. She couldn't or purposely avoid this is from someone else. Taylor Lorenz couldn't or purposely avoided defining and to define anything like the media's responsibility or the difference between a violent bomb threat and a death threat. She believes the media is a special class who need to only yeah. take care something she never did in doxing you. She loves her logical fallacies a lot. She doesn't think of no means no. Why'd she keep prying about finances? I guess I have to watch the whole video. I just watched oh, the, more. There's more to that. Oh, I'm going to hunt down, uh, you know. Uh, this she says she supports free speech but disables comments on her post. She does do that. What well, kind of a journalist disables comments on their posts? Well, she, okay, she's not, her, Taylor Rance, by the way, all the issues she's talking about, she uh, doesn't a fake care one. about. She cares about one issue, which is, you're like the stupid people and like, <laughs> listen to x Marts, and I know I'm that because my uncle owns the history of the internet online. Uh, that's right. And my sister is important and I'm, her I, uncle owns the Wayback Machine, you. right? I can't even tell you how old I am or that I'm, that you have, I have to kill you because <laughs> my family could die. I don't like to say because <laughs> if people found out, my family could be hurt. <laughs> Here's a blowjob. <laughs> I'm, I'm curious about right, you, we, though. We, we Let's got, talk about you and your media we empire, stop. nationalism. 
I, I, I this is a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> this is the I. I really somebody. I hope. I hope is going to make this show. I know Taylor is crazy and won't do it, but the two of them uh, send them on trips, road trips. We should do. We should do a uh, a parody. It's hard to parody. We should this. just cut this up and make a fake opening with like a cutesy cartoon <laughs> and then show them <laughs> butthole as a butthole. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, this is called Field of Greens. So I don't know if you've ever had this stuff. It's called soup theory, real organic superfood. So you, you take a scoop of this, you put it in some water, or you can put it in a smoothie. I think it tastes great. It tastes like uh, like an Arnold Palmer kind of. It's like fresh cut grass with lemonade in the best way possible. And what is it? It's a superfood. It's real fruit and vegetables. It's not fake. It's not filler. And um, so, and guess what? Now, Misha, you'd be better to talk about this because you've been taking it more consistently consistently to me. Tell me what you what what has uh, been your experience taking this? Uh, I notice I have like a little bit more energy. I feel like there's just this like not some sort of unnatural energy or even caffeinated energy, but just feeling better, feeling like I have a little bit more energy. It, does your skin actually look better, or is that just me? <laughs> I'm serious. Does it? Um, maybe, maybe it does. So it says it helps with your digestion. Now, I knew you had digestion problems. That's How's true. your digestion doing? Uh, my digestion actually is better. Look at that. So, I, so you have I more energy, you have better digestion, mm -hmm. and you're feeling better and healthier overall. <laughs> That's true. And they actually have other flavors. So that one, I think, the one you have, is a little less sweet, which I like. But this they is a little have, less sweet, and yes. they have sweeter tasting ones. Yes, which are which tastes like more like like a like a uh, they have like strawberry lemonade, which is super sweet. I like that one. So each organic fruit and vegetable was medically chosen to support heart and vital organ health. I trust B Field of Dream Field of Dreams <laughs> and Greens. Uh, and by by the way, I promise you're going to love this product, and if you don't, they're going to give you your money back. That's amazing. So. If you don't love it, they're going to give you 100% of your money back. And I got what? I got you 15% off your first order, plus free shipping. Visit fieldofgreens.com and use the promo code Jimmy. That's go to promo code Jimmy at fieldofgreens.com. Fieldofgreens.com. <laughs> hey, come see us live on tour in Los Angeles, Palm Springs, Stockholm, Amsterdam, Rotterdam, Berlin, Copenhagen, Oslo, Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania, Cortland, New York, Oakmont, Pennsylvania, right outside Pittsburgh, El Paso, and San Antonio, Texas. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for all those tickets. Mm -hmm.